one that Bernie's doing. They have to impress the New Age crowd with it at the Secret Garden Festival in just three days, but the car is still a shell. As the car begins its final metamorphosis, the rear bumper gets a touch of leap -hoo bling See how it looks. So got the old bumper, shaped it, cut it, and chromed it. You know, staying perfect. We work miracles, don't we? Unfortunately, couriers don't. Leepu's waiting for new headlights, but everyone's getting deliveries except him. He's like a kid waiting for Santa, and time's ticking away. That's it. That's it. Whoa! 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 Is that for me? What's that? Finally, Santa arrives. Ready for the whole day for this box? Yes. <laughs> I have to live with this lunatic. Perfect. The final incisions are made by eye and hand. No robots, no computer-aided design. This is all bespoke. This is what's known as a bits of car, right? We're going to have part Mitsubishi Pajero, part car builders lights, part Hyundai mirrors, right? part taxi rear lights, a real bits of Bits of this, bits of that. By late afternoon, the excitement has faded and the realisation of what's left to do has kicked in. I'm getting stressed. I don't know about everyone else in there, but I'm getting fucking stressed. They've practically camped out at the chop shop, staying there all hours, but at least the garden table has come in handy. It's 2 a.m. when they finally call it a day. After only three hours sleep, Lipu heads to the spray shop to help fill and sand the car, and it's another 14 hour day. The day before the festival and the chop shop team are so far behind, they have to call on a neighboring garage to help them paint the car. They work into the night to spray on Lipu's flower power design motif. Finally, on the morning of the Secret Garden Festival, the exhausted choppers still have to reassemble the painted car. And they're off to seek the Eco Warrior's approval. The festival is full of environmentally aware wealthy dudes. Looking for a trip back to nature. This is exactly the market the chop shop are hoping to sell this biofueled, recycled green car to. In just three weeks, the chop shop have transformed an amputated Pajero into a sleek eco-warrior. The change isn't just on the outside. The engine has been rejigged to run on curry oil. It's quite masculine. It doesn't look like you're compromising on performance. I want that car, and I want it in that colour as well, that's a good colour. A, fro a frog that's uh, just caught his wife having an affair. Yeah! yeah. green car! But I like the car, I think it's absolutely spectacular. It runs on veggie oil, you know that? Veggie oil? So you can actually make salads with it as well? You can't do anything you want to. <laughs> 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 After an incredibly successful reception from their target market, Bernie heads back to the chop shop, convinced that his future is green. This one little car, we're going to make a statement. We're going to show people, cook your food, 
put it in your car and drive. Next time on Chop Shop, Leepu checks out the show cars of South End and decides to build a car that'll impress the boy racers. It's gotta be fast. It'll be fast. So now Bernie has to fit a big Z-Tech engine into a tiny Fiesta body. But will they be able to turn this supercharged piece of scrap into the ultimate cool cruiser? Makers of Deadliest Catch. They sail across the oceans in the toughest conditions, searching and hoping to harvest the deep. With no outside contact, they battle the elements and face life threatening predators from beneath the waves. The challenges of trawling reveal. Tuna Wars, a new two part series, tonight at 9 on Discovery. Didi lives in a remote village in Indonesia. He has an extraordinary skin condition. What's so dramatic are the physical findings that are virtually covering his entire extremities with huge growth. They feel like thick pieces of wood almost. Hello, Didi. I'm Dr. Gasperi. I'm here to help you get better. Half Man, Half Tree. A new series, My Shocking Story, starts Thursday at 9 on Discovery. In Europe, 140 million people travel by rail every week. Over 20 million in the UK. The West Coast Line is 2,672 kilometers long and dates back 150 years. The UK's main commuter line winds its way between London and Glasgow in Scotland, calling in at some of Britain's largest industrial centers. It is now being replaced piece by piece like a giant jigsaw at a cost of over eight billion pounds. And incredibly, the biggest civil engineering project ever carried out in Europe takes place at weekends. To realize the enormity of the program, we really do have to realize how much is going on at any one time. 